So we have the badge reader installed. Works. But it'd be cooler if instead there was a camera right here on the door. And the camera looked at you, looked at me, and said, you're good, and then unlocked the door. So let's see if we can make that happen. So to do it, we're gonna need a camera, and we're gonna use one of these. This is the camera head to an AI Theta from Ubiquity. And it has a little adapter that can go into a door, so we'll drill a hole in the door, pop that in there. I think the door's thicker than that, but that's okay. And then the camera has a plug, which goes into a little brain. Now the only issue is that the brain, I can mount it to the door, because of course the door's gonna move. So I can put the camera right here. Then I need somewhere for the brain to go. And I'll probably mount it to the door, maybe up high there. And then it needs a cable, an ethernet cable. And so maybe I'll run that kind of across the seam here and then down the wall. And there actually is a cable in the wall here. So I can plug it in there. And then that goes over to the switches. So, so I think that'll work. The cable can be flexible so it can move with the door opening. It's only gonna move a little bit because it's on the very edge of the door. So I think that's gonna work. We can get a camera that watches from the outside and does facial recognition and then unlocks the door. So that's the plan. So time to drill a hole. All right, we have a hole in the door and a little camera mount pushed in there. That was pretty easy to do. So the other side looks good. A little bracket there. So the next thing is the AI Theta has this brain box. This cable plugs into the camera and then PoE to your network. So this box could be on the door and have the cable run over, or it could be on the wall with the cable running over. Uh, if it's on the door, then the cable that bends back and forth is the PoE cable. If it's on here, it's that cable. Uh, so it probably works either way. Probably a little easier to have this mounted here or maybe even here where the camera is. Uh, yeah, probably. And then um, have just the camera cable be the one that moves. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So I'll get this mounted and then get some way to hold the cable here. And then we'll try getting the camera installed. That should work. And success. All right. So the door. Got the box mounted. This cable is just temporary. I got to pull it jack there but it's on this we'll probably get a little holder somewhere here to give just the amount of right amount of slack like that and tie that up so that it can move with the door all right cameras on the door now, in theory i just need to get to the software and configure it to recognize me and then unlock the door so let's uh get to that. All right, so let's take a look at the software side of the face activated lock. So I'm here in Access, which is installed. So in the previous video, I'd installed Access on my UDM Pro firewall. And for it to work with the Protect integration, it appears it has to be on the same device as Protect. And I have my Protect running on a dedicated UNVR Pro. So I swapped over and moved Access to that device. Doesn't make a huge difference where it is. It's a small application. Um, and easy to move, so I installed Access on the same device as the Protect. So Access is installed, there's a server room door, I can unlock or lock it, same stuff as before. And so what's new is the idea of doing integration with the cameras. So if we go over to Protect, uh, we can go to Recognition, and you can see it recognizes me from <laughs> something. <laughs> uh, and you can click on the, I, when you have it recognized as a name, you can assign it a person. Uh, it has my name there and I marked it as a person of interest, which is just a group that I have it set to. Um, but the most important thing is the alarms and you can get to the alarms from this here or just click manage alarms here. And these allow you to set events that happen when it does different things like detect somebody. And so I created a new alarm, this one here, and I'll edit the alarm. And I called it open server room door for Jeff and it's trigger is a face ID. So there's a face ID uh, type of trigger. You can tell it which face to look for. So for me, uh, always be running and then only do that on this camera so on the ai theta camera which is the one in the door pointed out 
and then the action is to unlock. So it doesn't get a whole lot easier than that. Obviously, you can do other other things like Webhook allows you to have an API call to do other things, but unlock simply does uh, an integration with access to unlock this particular door. Um, and then you can tell it to ignore repeated actions, meaning it won't it won't fire the event again and again if it sees you repeatedly. That probably isn't an issue for the unlock because it would just keep the door unlocked probably. Um, but I set it to one minute. It makes it easy to uh, test. So that's it. So you, all you have to do is turn on this alarm, set it up with the unlock feature. And, uh, you know, when you are here, you'll see it pop up. Um, if you get a hit, I told you it was, it was access seven minutes ago. So I'm going to go uh, walk over there because the door is right here and we'll see how well it works. So let's go take a look. There it is. That's it. I do is walk up to the door. It beeps and it recognizes you. And then walk away. And it's relatively fast. Uh, it usually, if I'm walking from here, you'll usually recognize me when I get to about here. So it's it's reasonably quick. About the time I get to the door, it will have beeped and unlocked. So pretty cool. That actually works really well. All right, so uh, yeah, super easy to use. Obviously, you can do other actions. If you had one of these on your front door lock, you could have a camera there aiming down to to uh, detect people. Keep in mind, it's using a camera, just a normal camera. It doesn't have any of the 3D mapping. So I suspect if I held up a picture of myself, it would probably work. Um, I don't know if it has a way to detect that or not. Um, but it, it is cool for like an indoor door like this. It's going to be super easy to uh, use. And I'll save me having to badge in every time which is kind of cool. And I thought I was neat to try out. It's going to be an interesting thing. I'm going to also try out their gate software, um, which is that it can recognize a car, I think by the plate and then have it open the gate automatically. And so that will be kind of fun to try out. But if you happen to have uh, one of their AI cameras and you have protect and access, then it's really super easy to integrate the two together and have your door open for you based on who you are. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.